watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host, and today I have a good friend with me. I have Bob Martin, who is still around. Bob Martin <laughs> retired 10 years ago from the city of Brockton. That's correct, Mark. Uh, human Resources Administrator. administrator. Which, which means Human Service Administrator, but these days means personnel, I guess, but uh, it, it was Human Services. I know, yeah. everybody... You know, but you were the you, you were the go-to guy. You knew what every acronym stood for in Brockton. Allegedly. And you, every board, every committee, your your reach was every place. Plus, you know a few things about history in Brockton. A little bit. Just yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Uh, this is an exciting time, by the way. Just kind of put a plug in. Sure. It's the 125th anniversary of City Hall's opening. Right. And next year is a very important year for the school system. Yeah. And then 18, 19, 2021 is the 200th anniversary of the founding of North Bridgewater. So right. you've got all kinds of historical markers coming up. Yep, and we're trying to, we've reinvigorated the Historical Society. Excellent. You've helped us over there. Well, thank um, you. And I remember... And God bless uh, Carl Lynn home, too. Yeah, I know. Bob, Carl Lynn and, and, uh, and uh, Benson? Jim Benson. Benson. Yeah. Yeah. Too, too many, too fast. Too many good George Churchill passed away as well. Too many. Um, and... Uh, Great people out there in the city, champions, Denise O'Malley, well, Pat Foley, well, all these people. They were all mentors and, 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 and stuff. And, and you know, friends. unfortunately, sometimes you read the paper and that's what you see. But we're talking alumni. We're talking about the thousands and thousands of people that are proud Brockton High School graduates, you being one of them, mm -hmm. myself being one of them. We're getting ready. We're having our 40th reunion wow. in September. Hard to believe, huh? It's class of 79. Last, dec last class of the 70s, and you are doing an award ceremony. That's correct. Up. So let's Mark. talk about it. Uh, actually, this is the 16th annual alumni award ceremony this year, which is an exciting opportunity to acknowledge both uh, young people who receive scholarships as well as those who have achieved over throughout the years. And so I'd like to at least uh, tell you who's being who's mm -hmm. being honored this year, and that is, first of all, Leo Narducci. The name sounds familiar to some of your listeners. He's a graduate in 1950, and he is probably one, one of the more form, foremost fashion designers, particularly in the late 50s to about the early 80s. He, his mark is on Vogue and a variety of other uh, fashion uh, statements. I, I can't even list all of them. But he had, has quite a history, and we're honored to acknowledge him as uh, the uh, uh, recipient of the Alumni Achievement Award. Additionally, we have another good, a friend of mine, a friend of ours, is Mike Brady, a mm -hmm. state senator. He's getting the Alumni Service Award. I won't go into Mike's bio too much, but I will yeah. tell you that he's been involved with all, all kinds of issues, ranging from opioid abuse to educational reform. Uh, and very involved in the community. School always has committee, been. city on, council, on and on. state rep, I can't state li senator. I can't list all and of them. And I knew Mike all sorts of ways. Mike was the year after me. He right. was class of 80, right? Uh, yes. And last, if I can, I apologize because his name is a little bit tricky, Loic Asabomo. Uh, yeah. He is uh, class of 2011, and he is the, he's receiving the Young Alumni Award. Um, Loic is an incredible entrepreneur, has written a book actually about nursing, Oh, okay. uh, and uh, he's a native of Cameroon and was from his parent family is from Brockton. Yeah. And uh, we're honored to acknowledge him also this year. I remember him well when Jay Stewart was running for yeah. mayor. Yeah. He yeah. was very involved yeah. in that campaign yeah. as a, a really young person at the time. So you got in Leo, by the way, Leo, I did work with Leo. He helped the Historical Society. He Absolutely. did a fashion show with Richard Bath. Absolutely. Back, at, so, back a, a few years ago. So it is quite a, it's quite a diverse uh, number of, on the number, but on a uh, diverse number. Uh, different folks who are being honored this year. Um, I'm just going to list the names of the folks that are uh, young people that are getting uh, scholarships, sure. if I may. Sure. Uh, I don't have all their backgrounds, but I can tell you their sure. names and the fact that they're all of them are going on to better, better things and are, are really, uh, really uh, proud uh, of um, they're the pride of Brockton in terms of their excellence. Mm -hmm. uh, they include Alexis Adoxe. I apologize if I get these names wrong. Erin Hamlin. Uh, Elaine Rodriguez and Alexandra Younes. Each one of these young people have an incredible background, whether it be in, in uh, the band. I know the last one. You do? Did I, did I say the name right? Younes. That's Shirley Asak's daughter. Alexandra Younes. I said, did Younes? I say Younes? It's, 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 it's hard. Everybody, you and I remember Younes. Right. It's like Younes. Well, I, okay. I stand but corrected. I, I, I know her. Shirley and her husband, Tony, raised two great kids, and they're very involved. These are the kids that come with Shirley 
to the senior picnic right. and give every senior citizen a flower. Uh, that's okay. the, little things go a long way. And she is just a pride and joy. I, I don't know the other kids, well, but I'm sure they're just as good. Well, we had a committee. We actually had a number of committees uh, yeah. uh, working on both uh, the alumni awards as well as the uh, uh, scholarships. And in fact, I just want to put a plug in, if I can, for participation. We always need new members okay. uh, all the time. And so those of you interested, two, two things I want to say, because I know we're, our time is limited today. Yeah. Uh, one is if you want to get in touch with the Alumni Association, if you want to attend the Alumni Awards Ceremony, it's Thursday, May 30th, uh, 7 p.m. at the Stacy Adams Cultural Arts Building, which is on 33 Dover Street, on right. Warren, uh, corner of Dover and Warren Avenue. And you can, if you'd like to come to, to the awards ceremony, please call Bob Saltzman at 508-894-4563. I'll say it again, 508-894-4563. Four five six three. He's also uh, obviously you can reach him by um, email at Robert Saltzman at bpsma.org. Robert Saltzman at bpsma.org. Mission is free, but if you're planning to come, uh, please call to let 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 us know because we have limited seating. Limited seating. It's a, it's a nice place, but it's not big. It's not okay. big. It's about 150 people to fit comfortably. That's about the max. So when I talk to Bob. There is over 60,000 alumni of, right. uh, of Brockton High, which yes. are living and breathing and walking different parts all of the, the earth, all over the all country, over the country all, the world. all over the world. Yep. And Bob, I don't know about you, but I went to Brockton High, and if I hadn't gone there, I don't think I would do television because we had a television studio at the time. Mm -hmm. I think I would speak Spanish a lot better because I used to skip out of my Spanish class and go visit the TV studio when you couldn't get away with sure. stuff like that. But Brockton High has everything under the sun. It's a phenomenal. I remember Can't when we were there about the, it. for right. the 40th year. At Brockton High is coming up on 50. Right. I think the new the the new Brockton High. The not so new Brockton. Not High. so new. I was there when it was five years new. I was in the old school. I we was in the, the old school. school. Double yep. session. So was my brother. But either way, uh, the amount of young people that are, and people have come out of Brockton High is incredible as far as their achievements. I mean, I have to mention my my friend and former. Uh, they didn't play as well basketball as he did, but Kenny Feinberg and his brother David, but Kenny particularly has been, an ext he's the Solomon of the United States. And, I mean, he, Kenny, they just did a documentary on him. It's called Playing God. I got to see it at the JFK Museum, and he mentioned Brockton in it multiple times, and he mentioned his, his Jewish culture. Just absolutely. Like, just, just like that. And that guy mm -hmm. loves Brockton. He may be in Maryland and D.C., but he talks Brockton all the time. All the time. time. I had the honor and privilege when he did something for the temple. He let me interview him at the JFK Library. Yeah. At the JFK Library when he was dealing with the, the Boston Marathon. Mm -hmm. He took the time. He says, oh, you're from Brockton? You get in before all the other reporters. And, He's a mensch. Right, he, right? he is actually a man. Yes, a mensch. I was going to say that he is probably noteworthy as among, among so many other Brockton graduates, but there's so many people that have done even the smaller things that are, that are worthy of note. I can't say enough. Uh, I'm very proud of being a Brockton High School graduate. I went, as you know, I went down to the University of Miami, we'll plug in we for the Canes. We did too, both yeah. of us. And, uh, uh, and I went to Yale for graduate school, but I have to tell you that my formative years in terms of education um, really meant a lot and how I achieved was through the mentoring and teaching that, that I experienced at Brockton High particularly. You and I can talk for two years. They just gave me the high sign. Already. So we're done. But just the, the date, I'm going to do the date yes. one more time Can real you quick. put anything on the online? Yeah, we're going to put the graphics up. Thursday, May 30th, 7 o'clock, Stacy Adams Cultural Arts Building, 16th Annual BHS Alumni Awards Ceremony, and they also are presenting scholarships. So be there or be but, square. But also you've got to call in. If you want to come right. and you haven't registered already, please call. 508-894-4563 by May 28th. Thank Thanks, you. Bob. I gotta Thank you. Say goodbye. Always a pleasure. Okay? Same right. here. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.